What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space and we're back in Space Engineers and kind of back with the MCV concept again. It had such a good response that I wanted to look at it again but do it from like a different angle and try and re-approach it using a different technique than the whole unfolding thing. So what I have in front of me here is my attempt at doing that and obviously this is a projector based version. So rather than go and activate it here, it, it does take a little while to go through its process so I'm going to switch straight to some footage kind of sped up of showing you this building the base up in action. But the thinking was that with a projector base set up like this, not only have you removed the moving parts for the most part, obviously you've still got the big welder arm rig, but you've then got the ability to approach it from a very modular perspective. So these projections, and each one is an individual projection, there are four different slots that you can mount things to, could be any number of different combinations of modules that you might need for this specific requirement. Uh, and once this is all built up, I'll sort of give you a tour around the uh, the base itself, show you what we've got here at the moment. But those modules could essentially be made into anything you wanted for that particular mission. Uh, one downside, obviously, to this versus the other MCV design is that this is one where once it's deployed, you're not really going to be packing it back up again. You need to go down and grind it back down again if you want to move this. So the MCV does the, the original MCV does have the advantage in that respect. But in the other respect, I think this one has sort of a bit more of a practical approach to it as far as it actually makes you a proper sealed environment base at the end of it rather than something that essentially just gets a bit bigger. So now this is all built up I'll give you a quick tour around of exactly what's inside and and how exactly I went about building it and putting it all together. So first things first this entire thing is conveyor together it's fully survival capable if you should want to use something like this in survival. So as we come through this area obviously we've got the twin turrets for defense over the sort of entranceway and they're conveyed up and we go through into that sort of central area that is the main deployment craft itself. And that's basically just a big cargo container to hold all the materials it needs. And then the floor is pretty much entirely timers and, a, and four projectors to make the projections up. And that's pretty much all this ship is other than the connectors you need to move it around. Uh, we do have in here the button panel to control the unfolding of the ship itself. Uh, and then if we come through, we can go through each of the various areas. So this is the first area that it builds, and this is both the command area, so you can at this point come in, jump into a command chair to do the rest of the build. It's also got your med bay, because you're going to want that up very, very quickly, so you can respawn. And then on the floor here, we have the reactors. And I thought, you know, that's necessary. You want to get those up so that you don't have any power loss as you're building the rest of it. And then we've got a beacon and an antenna for communicating with other ships. And the LCD screen here, I wanted to have, like, MCV status on, but I never really got round to putting anything on there yet. So if we come back out and go around to the next module round. Uh, oh, that was where we came in. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, if we go around here, this is the refinery and assembler module. So this is essentially your production. So this side of the module has got three big refineries. And then across the floor here, we have a bunch of assemblers and then a couple of arc furnaces tucked at this end. And that's essentially all this particular module is, is, is your production. And then, I don't know why I'm flying. There's no gravity in here. Thanks to this room, which has... It has another med bay in it. Um, I don't intend to keep that other med bay, to be honest. I don't know why it's there. Also, I don't know why I can't fit through the door. Let me through. God damn it. Thank you. Um, yes, I don't know why this med bay is here. I do not intend to keep a med bay here. So imagine as if it's... Oh, yes, I can't. Just delete it, can I? Imagine it's not there. There you go. You see, no med bay in here at all. And this is our big cargo area. And it's also an area where we have a connector on the top for anything that needs to be dropped off into this base. Uh, and we've got our gravity generator. And that's pretty much it for the internals of the base. But of course, if you consider that this central room here is all there is to begin with, it's actually added a lot onto its bulk without having to carry it with it. So that's one definite advantage of doing it through this projector method. So now just quickly, I'll tell you a little bit about A, how it's sort of put together and timed up. So let's do the timers first, given we're here. If I jump over into this, you can have a look at the timer setup. So as usual, I've gone through and thought about the steps I needed to take and then numbered them and been sort of relatively logical about what needs to happen at what times. Uh, and then the important part with this setup is, is these delays. Uh, and the big important one is the rotation one. And basically, uh, this has to be matched to the RPM of the rotor on the top to make sure that it turns 90 degrees exactly 
otherwise it won't line up to build each one of the projections. Now fortunately, because it's RPM and then a timer, you can use the, the two things with some very, very simple maths to work out what numbers you need. And so far it's been very reliable. So it will turn quite happily 90 degrees each time to build each one of these modules. And then aside from that, you know, it, it, it's just reversing the pistons and setting off the next timer and thinking a lot about how long each timer needs to be in order to give the piston time to move and do what it needs to. Uh, and there's a little bit of overlap in some of them. So these, this, um, the 4.1s, because I had to add this in later, uh, originally I had these two grouped and then I decided that in reality I needed them to move together but they needed to start at slightly different times and so occasionally you have to add another timer into the sequence like that. And then obviously we've got a very simple timer at the end which reverses the first two steps in order to reverse that back down and put it into this sort of locked into position set up for when it's actually done building the base itself. So that's kind of how how it's put together for the most part. I mean the rest of it is literally just building and conveying it up. The only other note I'll make is if you wanted to try this out on the workshop, uh, I'm actually going to put the whole world up because obviously you need these four blueprints here. Um, and I thought it might just be easier if I just put the whole lot up in one place. You can make the blueprints yourself. So you need one of each of these blueprints. You need to load them into the <coughs> excuse me. You need to load them into the four projectors on the craft. The order doesn't matter. They will just align themselves nicely, although they are sort of named in the order I have them there. Uh, and then you're good to go. Nothing else needs to be changed. You just need to make and load those blueprints yourself manually. And then finally, over here, we actually I did make a, a craft for moving it around. Uh, and this does work, although it was a very quick job right at the end. So um, when you drive it, it the, the extra weight on the back doesn't make it uh, perform a little bit poorly, let's admit. But it did give me a chance to try out some of the new blocks. And don't they look sexy? You can get such completely different shapes using those than you could get with the old Space Engineers. I really like it. Uh, so there you go guys, that's all I got for you today, hope you kind of like it, um, if you did please hit like, please hit subscribe, really helps me in the channel out, don't forget you can check it all out on the workshop, I always put my stuff up there and I'll be uploading a up, uh, working rotation fixed version of the original MCV tonight as well, so you can try both of those out and both of them are fully functional now, uh, and otherwise thanks a lot for watching guys, I'll catch you next time.